right now we're in the uh, ooh, we're in the kitchen section, and look what do my wondering eyes disappear? A dollar ninety-nine uranium glass piece, glowy glass. Ooh, look at that! You can almost see how it's gonna glow. Yes, please. As Winnie the Pooh would say, a blustery day here in Las Vegas. I think it's supposed to rain. So I just scrambled over to our local feed store and got a whole bag of straw scraps. <laughs> I don't I don't need real straw, I just need the scraps. So they give me a bag and say, fill up. So I will go get all of the shell dogs tucked in so they're nice and warm and they have plastic over their pens to keep them dry as well so it's it's pretty official fall is here so I am at Goodwill so I hopefully can find the other piece to the M&M candy dish that I stupidly left behind when I was here what day was it it was like Tuesday and today is Sunday there is a good chance it's still here because it was just a weird little plastic dish so um, crossing fingers that I can find it. Yesterday was their 50%. <laughs> that was my phone. Uh, yesterday was their 50% off red tag sale, which is pretty crazy. So I don't know how wiped out the store will be, but we can't find out sitting here in the car. Let's get in there and see what we can find. Let's go get shop done. All right, let's see which is the lucky cart. I think it's this one. But I like a challenge. Let's go in. All right, it is a little crowded in here today and I've already thrown a couple of things into my cart. How cute is she? For 69 cents. Look at her. It's one of those laser paperweights. Um, it's got the twin towers, but it's got a big boo-boo. I think these get dropped a lot, so we'll have to leave that one behind. Let's see what else we can find. I'll show you what's in my cart in just a second. I wanted to just scan through here before a whole bunch of people come back down this row. Let's see what else I can find. Hmm, it's pretty wiped out. I was afraid of that. Pretty wiped out. I always check these to make sure they're not um, bunnies by the bay. I can tell there's a block in there. Bunnies by the bay. You want to watch for bunnies by the bay. Really, really good brand. Oh, what's this little dinosaur dude back here? It's like tape art. It's like masking tape art. All right. The bottom of an oil lamp. And a headless somebody. Yeah, not a whole lot on this shelf. Here's what I did grab though is this little wire art dog. I have, I forget what the piece is that I have down at the booth. It's, oh, it's a fox. It's the pink fox that matches. And this one is, is $1.99. I got these really cute, like billiard ball plates, uh, which are not wanting to open up so that I can show you. There we go. See, they're just the little billiard ball and it's it's all here and it's like brand new. These are $4.99. So I'm gonna get those. And this cute little guy is who is he? He's Odagiri. He play Playmate is a song that he plays. He's $3.99. Just super adorable. And then this little coffee and tea canisters that are $1.99 each. They have chili peppers and ladybugs. So I thought, hmm, okay, I'll take those. Oh my goodness, we are really, really wiped out today, which, I mean, I'm happy for them. Ooh, that feels like starfish under there. Yes. Is it a real one? It is. <gasps> Look at that. $1.99. I see another one over there too. So there's one little starfish. We're gonna grab him. 
Let's see, is this one? This one looks blue. Ooh, this one. This one looks blue. I can get the tape off. Take a peek. Take a little peek. Yep, there he is. Ooh, yay, score. Oh, well, let's see what else we can find. Like, even when the shelves are wiped out, I can usually still find some cool stuff like, hello, my pretty. Are you kidding me right now? $5.99. You are coming with me so much. Oh my gosh, yes. Look what was hiding right behind him. Look at this cute little guy. Oh, you know he's coming with me. Oh, it's a party light. Ah, $2.99. Doesn't matter. He's not getting sold. He's going in my collection. Charging dock. Huh. I don't even know how that would work, but tells you I'm just not technologically advanced yet. All right, we are in the wood section now. This is a neat uh, ice bucket. Let's see price. Oh, there's the price. What is it? It's $4.99. Yeah, I think I'll pass that one today. Ooh, is that a typesetter tray? It is. It sure is. Let's see what kind of condition it's in. I see one little boo-boo on it there. I'm going to pull it out and take a look. They are asking $12.99 for it, and because it's got some damage, I'm going to leave that one for someone else. We've got some 2016 string art. Looks like it's lost its other rail here. It's there. Somebody could fix it. Give me a J. Right. Oh, there's one of those um, 1970s kind of lacquer decoupage kind of things. They get really discolored over the years. And let's see what's over in the floral section. A woman's dress should be like a barbed wire fence. So serving its purpose without obstructing the view. <laughs> it's a paperweight, gold foil embossed paperweight for $3.99. I kind of like it. Punch Studio. You know what? I'm going to pick that up. All right, let's see what's over here in the pottery. Oh, that's a bummer. It's got a big crack. That's really cute. Uh, but nope, big crack. But look at this guy. That looks like a piece of mid-century glass for $3.99. We will grab that. Did you know that if you stay all the way through the end of my videos, I give a recap which shows you exactly what things are and what their value is. So I look everything up once I get home so that I can give you accurate values and information. So be sure you stay for that if you're a reseller and that interests you. Look how cool the colors are on that. Olay Mosaic, $2.99. I think I have to have that. All right, we are now in the glasses. Look at how pretty that one is. Now, this is one, even though it's got a black base and you know I pick up the black stems all the time, because there's just one of these with this particular etch, I'm gonna leave it. If there was a pair, I would get them. But that I'm probably never going to find. A matching one so there's no sense in me picking that up to go like you know to save and put away till I get other ones like I do with the black stems so ooh, I see some pretty colored wine goblets wine goblets wine glasses those are really nice they're 99 cents each there's one yellow blue turquoise pink and then a purple, which means one, two, three. Oh, I bet somewhere along the line the green got broken, but you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and grab these. Next door we have mugs, and I spotted this guy with the golden retriever on it. It's a St. Nicholas Square, pretty good brand. 99 cents, we will grab him. And let's see what else we have. Give me an A, give me an R. <laughs> it would be like Rachel. Rachel, wait, I did that backwards. Rachel. Ackerman. <laughs> Field and Stream. I think I've sold these in the past. And they do okay, actually. I think they're supposed to be 
four of them though. There would be like two of the dogs and two of the the birds. So yeah, you know, today I'm gonna leave them. Let's see. What else we got? Oh, I see. I told you it's really crowded in here today. I see a bunny mug. It's really cute. Dollar ninety-nine. I'm gonna take him. All right. Let's see if there's any other special mugs. This one's in really rough shape. I will spend the time to fix up a high-end mug, but not a lower end, you know, between the $10 and $15 range. It's just not worth the time expenditure for the amount of profit that you're going to get. So. Yeah. Phantom of the Opera. Nothing super exciting. In the mugs day except for what I already grabbed. I am starting to run out of hope that I will find the bowl that goes with my M&M kind of getting out of all the stuff where it would be. That's interesting. It's got a Asian mark on it but it's also got a barcode so let's see who makes these. Oh certified international Jennifer Brindley. They're cute but I think I have enough plates to deal with right now. <laughs> if you've watched the last few videos, I went a little plate crazy last week. So we are not picking up any more plates right now unless they're like spectacular. All right. All right, now we're in the, uh, ooh, we're in the kitchen section and look what do my wondering eyes disappear. A $1.99 uranium glass piece, glowy glass. Ooh, look at that. You can almost see how it's going to glow. Yes, please. Now, why can't there be more of that? Just more of that. I would love more of that. This is a, a nice piece, but it's not marked. Hmm. Little cornucopia candle holders. Eh, nothing on this shelf. See a little box with a giraffe on it. That's just some fuzzy in there. $3.99. Decorative. Oh, never mind. It's got a big crack. All right. So much for that. See, this was here still last time. Where's that dish? I need that dish. Still hoping it's going to turn up, but I'm kind of running out of hope. Kind of running out. I'm like in the last places it could be. They might have put it over like by the bathroom stuff. It's a cute little picnic bench guy. Oh, single little Mickey Mouse plate. Look at me. I can I can put it back. Don't need a single. Is that what is that? Is it a hummingbird feeder? Or no, it's for like oil and vinegar. Never mind. Never mind. Is this it's chipped but in decor. Oh, some of the ones fool me. Okay, the mishmash section is like my last hope. And it's not looking so good. Just wondering what somebody would have grabbed that piece for. <laughs> Without the actual piece that it goes with. Darn it. I guess I can just find another little plastic piece to use on it. Oh my goodness, look at those lamps. Boy, do those bring back memories. Ugh. They're $19.99 each. I'm going to pass them. I'm going to pass on them. And these, if these actually had the plugs, see, I bought one of these for Rachel, but this has the same problem. It doesn't have the actual plug. And we keep ordering adapters, and we can't find the right one, so hers doesn't work yet either. And then there's this green. I don't even know what else to say. It's green. I found this nice little old painting. This is an original. It's signed J... Melna, I think that says. I'm not sure. It is $5.99. So I am going to rescue it. I do always kind of look through the furniture. Someday I want to have the spot to be able to sell furniture again because they sell it for such great prices. Oh, look at it. Well, I like the bench, but I like this little pine table. That's really cute. 25 bucks. 25 bucks. 
Yeah, can't go wrong with their furniture prices here. And I'm gonna just put my blinders on with all this art. I'm gonna pass it by. Oh yeah, I found a tub, $4.99. Found myself another tub. All right, we are taking a quick little jaunt through the purses and backpack kind of stuff. It's got unicorns. It's not very high quality, I can feel it, but I, I see, oh, it's Trader's Joe's. I just saw mushrooms. Oh, let's see. No, no, nothing else exciting. That one's cute, but I can tell right now this fabric is just not real high quality either. So, all right, that's it. Whoa, it was really crowded in there today. So, didn't get as much video as I normally would. So what I think I'm gonna do is do the little recap just a little bit different today. I'm gonna go through the items and talk a little bit more about them and then show you the, the value and the price I paid. How would that be? Let's try it out. So this little girl is a Lefton. I know that because of the mark on the bottom, which doesn't say Lefton, but that is a classic Lefton mark with the little letter and numbers. Um, she would have had a little sticker that would have said Lefton. That has been washed off, taken off, worn off over the years. Uh, she is vintage, she's cute. Her value, as I said, is $12 to $15. And that's probably going to be through one of my live sales that's not a high enough dollar figure for me to list her on eBay. So that's where she's going to go in a live sale. I picked this guy up because I had bought a fox previously, a big pink fox head. and. Uh, I found that when they sell, they sell really good. I have not listed the Fox on eBay. I have it down at our booth, down at the Vintage Market. But for $1.99, I wasn't gonna pass behind, pass by the little dog uh, that is of the same uh, maker. They call it geometric, geometric wire. Um, this, as you saw, is valued $15 to $20. I can't find this particular one, so that's a very conservative value. Um, but it could go a lot higher since there's no other that I can find out there. You just never know. I picked up the billiard plates. Um, just because I, I like the, the look of the box first. It was the box that attracted me. And then when I looked on the back, they are BIA Cordon Bleu, uh, which is a high quality. Now they did come from Ross and were originally $6.99, but you know Ross is a liquidation store. And that's why they have the compare to on the Ross stickers because that's the original retail. So if these are not available in Ross anymore, then you can get closer to that original retail when you have a discontinued item. And these, which I still can't get the lid off, these are just really, really appealing too with the little stripes and solids. There, I had to show you a stripe too. They're all there, they're all marked on the back. They don't look like they have ever been used. And I put these at 20 to $25. And I think I'll probably get closer to the 25 because the only place you can get these now is eBay. How cute is this guy? He's a little Odagiri music box that plays Playmate. He's got on and off switch, which I love in a music box. He was $3.99. He's a little kitten holding a little mouse. Super cute. I put him at $15 to $20 based on other Odagiri music boxes. I couldn't find this exact one, uh, but you don't always have to find the exact one. Find something close to it, similar, similar size, shape, character. 
and you can pretty much judge your value on that. Sometimes you can even raise it up a little bit because there isn't another one exactly like yours, but you gotta stay somewhere in that ballpark. So that's why I'm going with 15 to $20 on him. I found this pair of canisters. One says tea, one says coffee with the chili peppers. I peeled the bottom to show the mark. I've seen this mark before. I don't know who it is still. I found another size of this canister and they didn't list who it was by either. And that, and that one was priced at $25. Now, just because these are super vibrant and great colors and coffee and tea are really popular, um, I did put these at a value of $20 to $25 each. Can't find any others like them out there. So again, if you're the only one, you get to name the price. Now I picked up the two starfish thinking that they were real starfish. And I do believe they, they are real starfish, but they've been painted and they've been turned into wall hangings with see the little hanger leather things on there. Um, you can see though that they were real starfish at some point. Um, I bought these because I just love ocean decor. You know, my whole porch project before was done on an ocean theme. So I will probably be hanging these on my new back patio. If I were to sell them, I would have to sell them probably as a pair to make it worthwhile because they're worth about oh, 10 to $15 each on their own, but putting them in a lot together, then I could get, you know, the 20 to $25, maybe even as close as 30, like $29.99, but I'm keeping them. I was really surprised that this guy doesn't sell for higher money. Now he is blending in with my bedspread there a little bit, um, but I just adore this guy. His face, look at those eyes. Oh, uh, he will be getting hung up in my new backyard. If I were to sell him, I uh, would have to probably be locally because of the size and I mean, you could probably get him shipped and not go oversized because he's thin, uh, maybe, but I would still only be able to get 20 to 25 for him. So for that, I'll just keep him because I love him. So I found this um, Sophia Loren saying on a gold foiled embossed glass paperweight, a woman's dress should be like a barbed wire fence serving its purpose without obstructing the view. You can see it's brand new in the box. Uh, it was $3.99 and we are in gift giving season. That's why I know I will be able to get $18 to $20 for this little baby right here. this piece of mid-century glass in your classic avocado green. Let me find a background that's not so. <laughs> I picked the wrong background to do this video. Um, but it's got the twisted stem. It's got the kind of goblet shaped top. Um, they do consider it a vase. It was $3.99. I do believe it's an Empoli from Italy. And uh, that would make it worth $40 to $50. How would I ship this? Pool noodle, pool noodle, pool noodle on the stem, carefully bubble wrapped, maybe even a little cardboard, a little extra. You can get it there, not so scary. Maybe I'll film myself doing it, maybe. just jumped at me from the shelf. 
It's made by Olay Mosaic, which turns out to be a really good brand to be looking for. There are some bigger pieces. There's canisters and, and plates and things that sell for really good money. Just this spoon rest right here is gonna sell for 20 to $25. Just a spoon rest with the bowl on it. It's so cool. Love it, paid $2.99. picked up these colored wine glasses because sometimes these can be really really good brands and sell for big bucks like the Gucci ones I just sold for $450 whoa um, these are not marked also a lot of makers did not mark other than just like a sticker and a lot of people get them and take the stickers off or they just wash off um, there's only five. I'm assuming that these originally came as a set of six, but there's five. So I'm probably going to just put the best four colors together. Like this one right here, um, it's really pale compared to the rest of them. This is like the pink rosé color. I'll probably leave this one off. And then when somebody purchases these for the 40 to $50 that I think I can get for them, I will offer to send them the pink one as well as like a little additional bonus. Uh, but that way in the listing, I don't know, psychologically people do not like an odd number of glasses. They just don't. I, it's, it's an odd thing. They will pick a listing of four or six before they pick a listing of five. It's a thing. But then again, if I keep doing that, I may make it a listing of four. <laughs> no, I will sell these, the four best colors together, and then bonus in the fifth one for the person who buys them. I picked up this mug because it's a really good quality mug. It is St. Nicholas Square. It is a Christmas themed mug, obviously. It's a dog and uh, it was only 99 cents. I do have to try to use my bar keeper's friend to try to get some of those coffee stains out. They will usually come out with, with using that product. Um, if not, I would not list this one. I put it down at the booth so that somebody could see it in person and determine if they're okay with whatever level of staining is left in it. Um, because a lot of people buy mugs as gifts. So it's important that the mugs you sell are stain free. And uh, I'm gonna give it a shot because it was only 99 cents. Had it been priced higher, I probably would have left it behind because of the stains, but it is a good quality mug. And if I can get those stains out, it's worth 15 to $20. And then this little guy, also really good quality, is made by Arlington Designs. There's the bottom after I pulled the sticker off. And now I'm looking at it going, is it a mouse or is it a bunny? I thought it was a bunny, but now I'm thinking maybe it's a mouse and maybe this is supposed to be like the tail. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments, bunny or mouse. Either way, good quality mug, great for gift giving and this one should sell for 15 to 20 dollars I don't think I've ever found uranium glass at my thrift stores Tiffany of thrifting Vegas finds it all the time actually we found it together you know like she zeroes in on it like zoom, radar me not so much, but I did find this piece. This is Anchor Hawking Block Optic is the pattern. And um, unfortunately, just a single small plate like this doesn't sell for a whole lot. What did I say, 12 to $15? And I'll probably sell it down at the booth because we have black lights that we put this stuff under, it just shows it off really nice. Um, if I found more, then I would be apt to put it on eBay in a group listing that's over my $20 uh, figure that I like to sell things for on eBay. 
So yeah, that's it. 12 to 15 at the booth. Come on down. Third weekend of the month. We'll be there. All right, last but not least, I picked up this nice little original oil painting. And um, it's interesting. I can tell it's an older piece based on the coloration, or the discoloration, I should say, of the canvas in the back. It was from, they had it, looks like they, okay, Creative Galleries Inc. from Michigan is uh, the gallery, looks like, where this was purchased. I'm looking, the frame is from Mexico. It also has Watson for Walker, a pencil on the back. And it is signed J, M I don't know, M E M R A, I wanna say. A lot of people did uh, paintings on their own. Let me show you that. A lot of people just did paintings, some better than others. I can also tell that they did a really good job. This is somebody who isn't just a hobbyist. You know, they've got the balance right between the sky, the land, um, the, the structure on it. It's all very eye appealing. Um, their colors are great. There's a lot of realistic features and textures in there. So this is a really well done painting. And for that reason, I should be able to get 30 to $40 at least um, because I could find this to be a listed artist anywhere. I looked, I use a service called askart.com. I couldn't find it as a listed artist, so therefore it's more of just a decorator piece. And so 30 to 40 would be about the right range for this. Now with that, go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one.